Welcome guys, in this tutorial, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a spiral ramp in Revit. If you are watching my video the first time, make sure that subscribe the channel to get more tutorial like this. Okay, I have this uh, parking garage. So let's go to level one. Before starting, I'm going to show you that I'm using a centimeter. So I'm going to create two lines in here to specify the uh, ramp uh, width so let's correct one in here so let's click this one and I'm going to correct three meter okay so now I'm going to correct the floor from here so let's use the circle and let's find the center circle and let's draw a line in here to, to cut this part so now let's uh, split this to cut frame and extend this okay so now so now let's trim Okay, and then finish. So let's in 3D, and then uh, select the this floor, and then uh, click to the modify sub element, and click to in this line, and then click to in here to change this the height of this. Uh, 400 I choose the 400 because the second floor is 400 here we go this is the spiral ram and rivet so if you have a third floor or fourth floor so easy you can copy this so how to copy and for the third floor and fourth floor just click uh, in this and go to the in here copy to clipboard and then paste so from here select the level I'm going to select level 2 and level 3 and then ok so so easy how to uh, copy this uh, spiral RAM for the next floor ok so I'm not going to use this this is how to create a spiral RAM and rivet of course we have to need a stand as well so I'm not going to create the stand in here so you can carry it by your own as you know we need uh, rail and this two sides as well so let's uh, go to level one and carry the rail as well and go to the architecture and from here select the rail so I'm going to use arc so let's find the center and the start point and of course the end point okay and then finish okay let's see in 3d as you can see the is look like this so now again let's select this and go to the level 2 and let's select this and then go to edit and from here let's uh, create a small rail in here as well I'm going to it from here to in here and then select this one and from here uh, choose customize and then that's the the high of the level 400 and then select this one and from here uh, select slope okay and then finish okay there you will have this warning it's okay no problem 
and let's uh, back to the 3D. As you can see now it's look like this. So again, select the rail and then go to edit. From here, this is the height of the rail. So let's change to one meter and then let's go to edit. And from here, uh, change this from host to uh, top del element and in here type minus 100 and also uh, from here change to top element I'm not going to change the start point because it's start from the uh, level uh, 1 so just again minus 100 and then this uh, for the corner and the end point also change top rail element and then minus 100 okay let's apply okay apply okay here we go this is how to create slope sloping rail and rivet and also uh, now you can create for this part as well so let's go to level one again go to railing and then let's use this element uh, find the center start from here to finish in here okay let's uh, finish this again let's select this and edit go to again to level uh, level 2 Again, let's create a small piece in here. Okay. Let's click this and from here, customize and 400. Okay. And then select this one and from here, slope. Select the slope bit and then finish. Okay, let's uh, do a 3D. Here we go. This is how to create a sloping rail and rivet. If you like tutorial like this, subscribe the channel to get more tutorial like this. Thanks for watching.